Hi guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to have some Division 20 online rank gameplay in the strawweight division. And we're going to be using none other than who I had to believe is going to be a future champion. The female Habib, that she's commonly referred to, and that is Tatiana Suarez. And now she has absolutely phenomenal ground upon And on, on the ground in general, she's very, very good, a very viable option, especially at strawweight. And you'll see in my last upload where I talk about the easiest ways to win. I also include a gameplay clip from her. She's someone I've really been utilising as of lately. And I'm definitely really, really, you know, looking forward to playing at the short weight classes more often because I feel like she's a very good fit for my play style. Um, as of recently, I've been incorporating more ground and pound into my my fight. So with her ground and pound being so strong and so evident. Again, this is a nightmare matchup here against a Division 20 opponent with uh, Wei Li. And Wei Li is probably the most well-rounded fighter and I say nightmare not as in that Tatiana Suarez can't can't win. Just nightmare as in Whaley so good, so powerful, very good kicking arsenal, very good boxing and very well versed on the ground. And my opponent coming into this beat me once. I've beaten him once so we're one on one going into this and as you can tell from the title of the video and the video thumbnail, he was not very happy and uh, we, we ended up forcing him to leave and he sent me a lovely message while streaming. He he messaged me saying, I hope your family dies in a car crash. So you should be able to see that in a thumbnail. I didn't really want to include it in the video. And again, just because you see this guy's game attack, don't don't go over there and say anything. There's, there's no need for it. But definitely don't be a sore loser like this guy is here. But ultimately, this is what you want to do uh, to anyone you're fighting when you're using Tatiana Suarez. You want to break them down to the point where they're so mentally weak that... They have to send you a message like that and that is what it is that guy's not a uh, championship material and you can see that in this fight here so did a good job of reversing the position and get me off my back which ultimately tatiana suarez isn't the isn't as well versed off the back as she and on top and top games the the main thing you want to look to use utilize and um, he did reverse the position but we reversed it straight back and now we're in a, another dominant position we're on the back here and i'm more than content to just ride this out wait to see what transitions that Whaley goes for but yeah ultimately you look you know I've been playing I, I'm a grappler and Tatiana Suarez fits fits my my ideal way of playing but as of lately when I've been streaming and I'm trying to stream at least once a week now which will be on a Friday night I'm noticing that I am getting more and more hate messages especially when I use a style like this and I, I understand when you when you're getting beat to the point where there's literally nothing to do. I can understand you rage quitting as annoying as it is. You just want to get out of that game. But sending a message the way this guy sent a message is just absolutely crazy. And it's, it's amazing how um, people can say those sorts of stuff online and have no sort of repercussion. Because uh, ultimately 99% of the people that say this stuff uh, over PlayStation wouldn't say it to someone in real life. But don't be that guy if you're getting smashed and bullied like um, this man here is. Because absolutely beaten to a pulp. Right now, complete domination, uh, toying with Whaley however I want. And you can see, really going for the finish. And this is something that I really try put across in my videos, is that when you are grappling, and if this is going to be your style, do not try... How do I put this? Don't be boring with it. Don't just lay on someone and look to ride out the three or five rounds. Really look to impose your will and always look for a finish because I think that's the key where people get the grappling element of UFC uh, for confused and, and even in general like in real life with MMA is that people just lay there and sort of um, wait the the whole 15 minutes or 25 minutes that's that's not something you want to do you want to always want to be looking for a finish um, nothing wrong with wearing someone out and breaking down those layers over time but always be looking to advance position always be looking to finish the fight because if you get complacent on the ground and you know you're just lying there not only is there the threat of getting reversed you know them standing up or getting caught in um submission but just overall it's just it isn't the greatest gameplay and damage is what wins fights or finishes so that's definitely something i try to implement when i'm fighting on the ground is i'm always looking to to finish the fight and i think that's why a lot of you guys even if grappling isn't your main thing stick around for the content because you know that ultimately i'm not looking to just lay on someone I'm constantly looking to try to finish the fight and offer, offer useful tips throughout the game plan. You can see here, it's just, even when I'm on my back with Tatiana, and like I said, she's not the greatest off the back. You know, in this division, you've got 
someone like Thug Rose, who would be very, very good off her back, and she's got Rubber Guard as well. But Tatiana has the wrestling reversals, and she has enough to to work back up. So you can see that here, Whaley ends up getting to her feet. Shoot for a takedown straight after I go for that ankle pick. I don't get it. And instead of just resetting, striking, I opt to shoot for another takedown straight away and get Whaley straight to the ground because ultimately when it's on the feet, I don't want to mess around. Um, like I said, this opponent, although uh, clearly mentally weak after the message he sent me, has beat me before. And normally nine times out of ten when someone beats me, it's because they've beaten me because my stand-up isn't as good. Whaley already has... Uh, massive advantage in that aspect when it comes to the stand-up over Tatiana so I'm trying to limit that as much as possible and that's why I'm being so forceful so aggressive with these takedowns again this this is really what you, you've got to do you've got to impose your will and over round by round whittle away away his head health body health deny all the transitions you can and start factoring in what takedowns work like what little things do you know so if i if i shoot a takedown to the left twice and my opponent denies it i know i'm not going to go to the left i'm going to go to the right if i take whaley to the cage and i can't drag her down because he denies it i'll look to drag her forwards or jump her back there's there's multiple different options and this is where the fight iq element really comes into it and um especially as a grappler one thing i've noticed that there are many many elite grapplers on the game and but i'm not saying that i'm one of them there's there's many grapplers that are better than me but the one thing you'll see they do is they they pick up on these little mistakes the same way a high level striker finds openings on the feet is exactly what you've got to do on the ground you've got to be very patient like here i'm not over committing I'm not getting overzealous again frying the ground and pound being very selective with my strikes looking to see if Whaley is going to sway left or right where the hand positionings are and off that picking my openings and it's little things like this and look at the stamina for round three that is exactly where you want your stamina and stamina management as a grappler is so important and it's something that I do speak about often but if you're getting higher success rate on takedowns it's not something that I need to speak about um over and over because your stamina will be a good position anyway because your takedowns aren't getting denied you're being very clever with your transitions you're denying at the right times and all this stuff is just going to take away from Whaley stamina and back on top again frying the ground and pound here trying to be patient he does a good block of blocking this at every second hook which was a, a good job there from Whaley but I just want to say um, right now as I'm pounding Whaley's head in I just want to say a big 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 thank you for all the support on the content as of recently at uh, I think 605 subscribers at the time we recorded this video, which is absolutely crazy. I can't believe that we've grown to over 600 already. Um, I'm really, really appreciative and grateful for all you guys. We'll see where we are around Christmas. It'll be it'll be nice to keep this growth up. And uh, yeah, just just let me know what you guys would like to see more of in the comments below. Uh, with any content suggestions or any any improvements you want to see in the video, please feel free to let me know. Uh, I do get I do get around to recording the content suggestions it may not be instantly because i do have videos scheduled but for instance there's a chuck liddell one that i'm working on and alex hernandez one that i'm working on so all these comments you guys leave trust me i do work around to get towards them it's just often or not i just try to stick to the schedule that i have and filter those in but yeah thank you for all the support you guys it really means a lot and um, onwards and upwards i'm really enjoying seeing how this community is forming and yeah just very appreciative to to you all so and you'll see that on the feet right now, we was on the feet for maybe right about a minute there. Work the takedown, get it straight away. And I can tell at this point that the way Lee's just running out of answers, becoming incredibly frustrated. These strikes are doing more and more damage. Uh, now, way Lee's head health is not in a good position. It does a good job there of getting the reversal. I was sure I was adamant that I managed to get that reversal. But rather than letting way Lee take my back or just get up, I go into full guard here. And I'm going to wait to get the reversal. So you see this exactly forms exactly into my game plan. Get the reversal. Now I've got a minute to work with. A minute of being on top. And just implementing ground and pound damage. I'm looking to pass if it's available. But you'll see mainly result, result into um, getting those significant strikes. Up because it's not even championship rounds yet. And uh, I've completely broke Whaley. There's there's not much fire left. And I mean look, look at this. This is a beautiful example of getting reverse and instantly reverse in position again. Man, this is exactly what I'm talking about. This is, it's like chain grappling. When one thing doesn't work, you go straight to the other. I'm going to finish the round on top mount here and look to explode and throw some strikes. So, overall, a very, very solid round. I mean, 
not much in a way of force uh, coming against me to be honest. It's been pretty much the way I want the fight to go. A lot of control time per round. And this is exactly what you're going to look to replicate when you're using Tatiana Suarez. I mean, this is the blueprint for for using a wrestler. If you want to see how to use a wrestler that maybe doesn't have the greatest jiu-jitsu or, um, you know, just, just someone that, yeah, isn't like Al Jermaine Sterling who's got phenomenal wrestling and um, phenomenal jiu-jitsu. This, this is exactly how you want to look to, to utilize them. I mean, just wearing them out, grinding them out. Nah, just never giving them a second to breathe. When he gets back onto the feet, what you want to do, you want to shoot straight for those type of legs. You're going to get them onto the ground. You're going to hold them in dominant positions like side control and crucifix. But backside, top mount, half guards, even a dominant position, to be honest with you. North, safe, uh, north south, depending if you have the right chokes. But again, Tatiana Suarez's jiu jitsu is good, but it's not to the level of someone like um, Al Jermaine who, who has those positions. And that's definitely someone I want to look to get more gameplay with is uh, Al Jermaine Sterling. But yeah, as you can see, extremely dominant round. And um, it's coming towards the end of the video here because Wei Li gets so mentally broken, and my opponent can't comprehend what's going on to him. He, he, he can't imagine that this is getting streamed, and however many people are watching, and he's getting suffocated uh, live on air. And yeah. It was a great feeling um, bullying someone like this and just, just watching them mentally break and unfold, peeling those layers back like an onion. And yeah, you'll see that he starts giving up here. So just want to say to this guy, you know, get better with your takedown defense and don't send people messages saying that you hope their family dies. But to all you lot, I just want to say thank you for the support. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for more UFC full content, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.